Hello and welcome to a new tutorial of Touch Designer. In this tutorial we're going to build up a flow emitter system with a burning sphere and then we're going to apply a ramp to the sphere. In order to see like how to work with ramps and um, yeah, how to add um, colors we want to use to our objects that are burning in the scene. Of course the system we are going to build it's like adapt for a certain size of the sphere, a certain position and for uh, a certain shape, so a sphere. If we are going to work with a box or with a capsule or with a shape, we have to yeah, change a little bit the parameters in the ramp. Um, and I mean, like, especially the positions um, yeah, of every color uh, of every gradient into the ramp. But yeah, more or less, this is going to be like a um, tutorial about yeah, what. A specific position could mean for a shape but yeah of course this means then that you have to try it out some yeah positions and you have to experiment and research a little bit with your shape so first we need like our flow emitter system so we are gonna press the tab key on the desktop then the control key and then Press the click on the media flow, the comp camera, and media flow emitter. Now we have all three operators in the scene, and we also have our sphere that is already burning. So, first of all, we want to go into the flow emitter, change the radius of the flow emitter of our sphere, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. Then we change the outer width. So once we have our settings for our sphere, so this is gonna how it looks like more or less. Now we have to apply a ramp, so a gradient of colors. So we need to add a ramp top on the desktop, and then we need like a chop, a top to chop. Yeah, perfect. So first of all, I want to show you that if we are gonna change colors into the flow emitter here and so for example we make it like yellow this means that um, the sphere is going to be a little bit the color of the sphere is going to be a little bit flat so what we want instead it's a gradient of color so we want like yeah something more nicer to see so we have to apply the top two the color ramp but still we don't see anything interesting or not that much going on because the ramp is from black to white so what we have to build is like a ramp I click on the parameters put here so that we can see all the changes because we have already like our ramp applied to the flow emitter so every change that we are going to bring to the ramp top is going to be applied to the sphere so so first of all we want to have like one around like one point here on the ramp around the 15 percent one on the 25 percent and then one on the 65 more or less percent and then this is the 100 percent and this is like the zero percent so we want that we want the red so we want some red the 100 percent is basically what is the color of our sphere of our object actually so it's gonna be applied to the uh, bottom of our top sphere in this case then we want like the 65 percent we want it yellow so this is the fire around our sphere and we see already like yeah as the color of the fire now it's like really yellow and we can see also a little bit of red here then we want like a little bit of orange so 
four, let's say. Yeah, we can see already a little bit of orange here. Let's see, maybe we can also change something and we can add like an alpha 0 0.5 so that there is also already a little bit of black gray going on. So here, we can add a little bit of white, for example, or we can add like already like a little bit of gray. And playing with the alpha, means that we are going to have more smoke or less smoke as you can see so let's put it like a little bit yeah, in the middle as well and then the last parameter the black here can also be like a little bit white and so we can have like a wider smoke so basically we can put it like dark but yeah keep it also a little bit the smoke a little bit less yeah so we're gonna have like a gray smoke so in the end like these parameters 100 percent is gonna be uh, is gonna affect the shape the sphere so then we have like um color for the fire around the sphere then we have like something that is already like between the fire and the smoke and this is like the orange that we have here so it's in this position and then here starts to yeah it starts to have like the smoke so here we have the beginning of the smoke and then we have the last part we can maybe yeah use different colors this is the last part because it's the zero percent of our fire of our sphere and then here we have like the beginning of the smoke And this is how we apply the gradient to our objects. Of course, this is for this sphere with this particular size, but yeah, more or less we have to yeah, consider this. 100% is close to the object, the 0% is the uh, smoke, and then all that is in between is yeah, basically fire and beginning of smoke. Uh, yeah. Also, another thing to consider is like if we want to add like gradient into the smoke or gradient into the um, yeah position between the object and the beginning of the smoke or be a gradient close to the fire and to the objects, we can add other points and work with that. So yeah, like in this case, now we can add like some other colors here and so on. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment or write. Uh, also you can write me on Facebook and um, yeah, also if you like the video please add a like on the YouTube channels and uh, yeah, consider to subscribe if you want to see other uh, helpful videos for you about touch designer and how to use other effects. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye.